Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaguru and in today's session I'm going to teach you pipe and cistern. The shortcuts I'm going to teach you are going to be the smartest, shortest and simplest ones, absolutely logical without any use of variables x and y. So it's going to be an interesting session. Make sure you watch the video till the end and with each question our difficulty level is going to go up. So you have to be there till the end, stay put. And as you can see, it is going to be a complete English medium video because a lot of our students from South India, our students from Kerala, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, they are well versed in English language, not that comfortable in Hindi. So is the case with our dear students from uh, Northeast. So make sure you watch the video till the end. If you like the video, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing you have to press the bell icon because that way you're going to get the notifications of all our videos. So let's get started with the first question. I'm going to teach you the approach which is going to be absolutely logical, absolutely time saving. Two taps A and B can fill a tank in 15 and 18 minutes respectively. Both taps are open together. So the taps are being opened together but three minutes before the tank is full tap A is turned off. So tap A is turned off three minutes before the tank is full. Find the total time to fill the tank. So students what we are going to do is first of all look at these times 15 minutes and 18 minutes. So A takes 15 minutes. Students B takes what? B takes 18 minutes and and we have what? We have uh, tap A being turned off three minutes before. So what you have to do is first of all take the LCM of the time taken. The LCM of the time taken is going to give you the total work that needs to be done. Sure. So the LCM of 15 and 18, what is that going to be? Students, it is 90 units. So 90 units is the total work that needs to be done. And what is the work done? The work is to fill the tank short so 90 units when 90 units is complete the tank will be full that means in one minute in one minute how much is the work done by pipe a how much is the work done by tap a tap a does 15 6 and 96 units tap a does six units work similarly tap b 18 5 and 90 tap b does five units work so in one minute tap a does six units in one minute tap b does five units sure now look at the situation in the last three minutes students in the last three minutes it's only the tab b which is functioning because tap a has already been turned off sure so what is the work done in the last three minutes in the last three minutes since only b is working and b does five units b does five units in one minute so in the last three minutes what was the work done three fives of 15 so b does these 15 units alone b does these 15 units alone and takes three minutes takes last three minutes to do these 15 units sure that means students 75 units because 15 was done towards the end so 75 units were done together when a and b were working together they did 75 units work sure so in one minute a does six units in one minute b does five units so together together they do 11 units work together they do 11 units work in one minute so they did 75 units together they did 75 units together and took how much time 75 by 11 because in uh, one minute they are doing 11 units so the time taken will be 75 by 11 sure add to it add to it the last three minutes add to it the last three minutes when only b was working that will give you the complete time sure so let's take the lcm the lcm is 11 so 75 plus 33 75 plus 33 what will it be students it will be 108 by 11 108 by 11 i can express it in mixed fractions because that will give you much more clarity so 9 9 9 by 11 11 nines are 99 99 and 9 108 so basically 9 minutes 9 9 by 11 minutes that is the total time taken to fill the tank sure that is the total time and with next question i promise you the difficulty is going to 
increase. So now let's see. And students, by the way, if you like our method of teaching, if you like our method of teaching, if you are liking the way we explain things in a logical shortcut format, then press the like button and apart from that, dial the numbers which are given on your screen because by dialing these numbers, you can straight away get connected with our team and become a part of our live online classes. Our live online classes, our video course and study material package is absolutely everything that you require to crack these government job exams, whether it is SSC banking, you will be able to crack these exams. So dial these numbers right away. The second question says T1, T2 and T3 are taps connected to a tank. T1 and T2 can fill it in 10 and 20 minutes respectively. T3 can empty the tank in 15 minutes. So students T1 and T2 are filling the tank. T3 is emptying the tank. Read it carefully. Sure if T1, T2 and T3 are opened successively for one minute each. Time taken to fill the tank is T1 takes 10 minutes, T2 takes 20 minutes and T3 takes 15 minutes to empty the tank. Sure. Now the time taken to fill the tank is again we will do the same thing. First of all we will take the LCM. So 10, 20 and 15. These are the time taken. So the LCM of 10, 20 and 15, what is that going to be? Students, it is going to be 60. The LCM is 60. Sure. So T1. T1 uh, takes 10 minutes to do the work. The work is what? The work is 60 units. So it does 6 units in a minute. It does 6 units in a minute. Similarly, the second tab, T2. T2 takes 20 minutes to do 60 units. That means 3 units per minute, three units per minute. And what about uh, T3? T3 takes 15 minutes to empty this 60 unit tank. So in one minute it does four units. And please remember, since it is emptying the tank, we will consider it negative work. We will consider it negative work because it is draining the tank, it is emptying the tank, taking the water away from the tank. Sure. So they are opened successively for one minute starting with t1 starting with t1 they are opened successively for one minute so in the first minute t1 does six units sure in the second minute what happens t2 is open so t2 does three units in the second minute in the third minute what happens students in the third minute negative work happens t3 drains some water does negative work and in the third minute, minus four. Now you understand why minus four is there. So that is, that is the sum total of these three minutes. So what is the total work, network? What is the network done in three minutes? Six plus three, nine, nine minus four, five. So students, five units is the work done. Five units is the work done in three minutes. Five units is the work done in three minutes. We require 11 cycles, one cycle. In one cycle, what is the total work done? The total work done is five units. So we will require 11 complete cycles. 11 complete cycles where how much work is done? 55 units work is done. In one cycle, we are doing five units work. So in 11 cycles, a total of 55 units work is done. Sure, now we are left with how much work? We are left with five units work. 55 is done, we are left with 5 units work. Now think about, think about T1. T1 can do 6 units. T1 can do 6 units in 1 minute. The total work that needs to be done is what? Is 5 units. Sure, in 1 minute, in 1 minute it uh, does 6 units. So what is the time? What is the time T1 will take for doing the remaining 5 units work? It will take 5 by 6 minutes. Because in one minute, it does six units work. So five by six is what? Five by six into 60, because I'm talking about seconds now. Sure, because it does not take one complete minute. It takes five by six minutes. So five by six minutes in terms of seconds is what? Five by six into 60, that means 50 seconds. In addition to these 50 seconds, what happens? The 11 cycles, the 11 cycles where the 11 cycles where each of these three tabs T1, T2 and T3 took one minute. So one cycle is worth uh, three minutes. 
11 cycles is what? 11 cycles is 33 minutes. So in addition to these 50 seconds, we have 33 minutes. So a total of a total of 33 minutes and 50 seconds. A total of 33 minutes and 50 seconds. That is the time taken. Sure. Students, now let's focus on the last question for today and the toughest one out of all the three. Let's get started. Let's see and read it together. Two inlet pipes X and Y can individually fill a tank in 60 and 40 minutes respectively. And an outlet tab. So we have an outlet tab that means the one which is going to drain the water. Outlet tab Z can drain off 12 liters per minute. If all three are turned on together, then it is emptied. The tank gets emptied in two hours. Total tank capacity. Now we have to find out total tank capacity. That means the answer has to be in liters because we have to find out the volume. We have to find out the volume. We have to find out the capacity which is going to be in liters. Let's focus on the times now. The times taken by X, Y and of course we don't know much about Z. Short, so 60, 40. X takes uh, 60 minutes, Y takes 40 minutes. Short, and they are filling the tank. So the LCM of 60 and 40, it turns out to be 120. Short, students, what does that mean? It means that X takes 60 minutes to do 120 units work. That means X is doing two units per minute, two units per minute. Similarly, Y takes 40 minutes to do a total work of 120 units. That means Y does 3 units. Sure. We know this much about Z that when the three of them are working together, the three of them are working together, the tank gets emptied. That means the Z, which is the outlet pipe, it overpasses the work which is done by X and Y. Sure, that is how the tank is going to get emptied and the tank gets emptied in two hours that means this total work this total work 120 units this total work 120 units gets done in two hours two hours means what it means 120 minutes so students in 120 minutes a total of 120 units work is being done and remember this is a net negative work this is a net negative work because the tank is getting drained off so 120 units in 120 minutes that means in one minute in one minute what is the network the network done is one unit sure the network done is one unit and this is net negative work that means students x does how much x does two units work look at it x does two units work in a minute y does three units work in a minute and and of course Z, Z must be doing, students Z must be doing six units work, negative six because it is draining off. It must be doing negative six units work. That is how, that is how when we turn them on together, when we turn them on together, what happens in one minute, the work done is a total of negative one. The work done in one minute is a total of negative one. That is how the tank will be drained off. That means Z is doing, Z is doing how much work? Six units work. Sure. Six units work Z does in one minute. Sure. This six units work. Now let's not worry about the sign. We know that this uh, sign only means draining off. Six units work is done by Z in one minute. And this 6 units is equal to what? It is equal to 12 liters. Because in 1 minute it drains off 12 liters. 12 liters is equal to 6 units. Please understand that carefully. Now we have to find out the tank capacity which is going to be in liters. So 6 units is equal to 12 liters. So 1 unit is equal to what students? 1 unit automatically becomes equal to 2 liters so please remember one unit work is equal to what one unit work is equal to a total of two liters it is equal to a total of two liters and what is the total work students the total work is 120 units sure 
the total work is 120 units so the total tank capacity is 120 units that means 120 into 2 it becomes what it becomes 240 liters because one unit is equal to 2 liters so 120 units becomes equal to 240 liters so students the answer is 240 liters that is the total tank capacity with that i'm signing off and you have to subscribe to our channel like the videos and make sure that you share our video with all your friends and become a part of our live online classes as well thank you so much god bless you